is she doing? Drain the ra- Oh my god! You killing me, woman! Hiya! Drain the ra- She- The rice- She draining rice with colander! Hi- Today, guys, we're going to be reviewing Uncle Roger's very first reaction video with Andy Hersha making egg fried rice. So this is one I've been wanting to see and let's see how it is. I have plenty of other recipes and videos on my YouTube channel, not just reaction videos. So hopefully there will be something for you guys to enjoy. And before we get going today, guys, if you do happen to like this video, then don't forget to share, like and subscribe and let's get started. Hello, my name is Uncle Roger. Today I will react to a video sent to me by a fan. It's the His voice is very different from the last video that we reviewed to this one because this still looks like he was practicing with, you know, trying to put on a bit of an accent. That and he also had a haircut. He had a bit of a makeover, didn't he? BBC Good Food How to Make Egg Fire Rice video. What is BBC? Let me see. Is it like something dirty like big black? Oh, it's the British Podcasting Corporation. Okay, okay. That BBC is okay. Uncle Roger, not into the other BBC. Let's play the video. Egg fried rice. Don't be afraid. This is really simple. It's cheap. It's delicious. Really satisfying. Rice. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Who afraid of egg fried rice? It's the most common dish. Everybody eat egg fried rice. Who afraid? Why are you afraid of egg fried rice? Where your courage? Uncle Roger scare ghost, but you scare egg fried rice. <laughs> Failure. Well, I don't know. Some people can be a little intimidated with cooking, especially if you're using a gas burner. I know it can be intimidating. Um, I think more people just don't like to cook necessarily at home than, you know, being afraid of actually cooking. Well, anyway, let me know your thoughts. This is really simple. It's cheap. It's delicious, mm. really satisfying, and it's like a takeaway, but you haven't paid eight quid for it. Who pay eight pound for takeaway egg fried rice? My God, they think money go on three paying eight pound for egg fried rice. Hiya. If anyone's in the UK right now, let me know in the comments how much takeaway egg fried rice is, because I don't think eight pounds would be the price right now. I just have a feeling that it would be a little more feels like everything's gone up in price, so let me know in the comments. So a lot of people get afraid of cooking with rice, but you can follow a really simple rule, which is for every one part rice you have, you need two parts water. It's as simple as that. Mm. Who, why you measure water with cup? Just use finger, finger. You put rice, put water, mm. until finger. First joint, first joint the finger. That's how you measure the water, not with British tea cup. Hiya. First step all wrong already. I am not confident this video is gonna be good. Enough rice for around two people. So I know that Hersha speaking in general about, you know, a two to one ratio. Um, it looks like she's using basmati rice. I don't know, she may be using another one, but I think it's basmati. Now with basmati, it's not a two cups of water to every one cup of rice. It's a little less. Two cups is a little too much. If this were, say, a borio or risotto, then I would say then, you know, a little more water would be needed, not uh, just two cups. But this is not quite right. Now, the thing that Uncle Roger's talking about, where you measure it by the actual knuckles on your finger, this is true. This is correct. All the Asian chefs that I've worked with use their knuckles to measure the water line. So what they do is they pour the rice into the rice cooker or a pot. They fill the water up to about one knuckle and you measure not by putting your finger at the bottom of the pan because that doesn't make any sense, but by putting your finger at the very top of the line of rice in the pot and then the water should come up to that first knuckle. And usually, depending on the type of rice that you're using, obviously, usually it's spot on. So now the rice is on. Wait, so you don't wash the rice? How you don't wash the rice? Just cook the rice, not the rice stinky like you. Where you learn how to make rice? Some white people cooking school or something. If you are going to be using, say, jasmine and some varieties of basmati and other types, you do need to rinse the rice. You have to rinse that residual starch off, otherwise it's going to clump together. In Western culture, 
with aborio, with bomba, and all these other types of rice, we keep that starch because we have a different method of cooking. We want that starch. So if you do, or if you are going to be making, say, a risotto or a paella, and you haven't done it before with either of these types of rice, then just don't wash the rice. That's one of the important steps. You don't wash that rice, yes? If you're making jasmine and everything else, then you do. So now the rice is on, it's time to crack on with the eggs. <laughs> oh, ha ha, crack on. I see what you're doing. So punny, so humorous. I dying laughing, I dead now. <laughs> I've got a frying pan here, get that onto a medium heat, and then just add a little bit of oil. Well, at least Hersha's not using olive oil. It looks like she's either using sunflower or canola oil. Um, they have a little bit of a higher smoking point. So let that heat up. So one. Okay. Egg and egg fire. I'm going to try and do this one handed. Oh, okay. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive, I give you that. It halfway. Once it's on a simmer, you want to cook it for around 10 minutes. You know what I don't like? Uncle Roger don't like induction stove. Mm. You know, those stove with no fire. Uncle Roger need the fire. Who use induction stove? It's so lame, so not satisfying. You go camping, you set up campfire. You don't set up camp induction stove. Oh, come everybody, come, come sit around this camp induction stove. Let's tell story. Let's make marshmallow. 10 minutes, Wang Yu eggs in. He just stopped halfway through his rant. Um, he was on a good rant too, yeah? Oh, anyway. Wang Yu, what, what she say? What, what she, she say? say? Wang your eggs in. Wang your eggs in. Don't put wang anywhere near your egg fried rice. Don't wang anything in kitchen, okay? That's how I got fired from Chinese restaurant. Onto a plate, leave it to one side. <laughs> okay. Okay, rice. I'm not gonna say anything about the eggs. We are looking good. The rice not looking good, you lying to people. So wet. Drain it. Drain. What's she doing? What you doing? Drain the Oh my god! You killing me, woman! Hiya! Drain the She The rice. She draining rice with colander. Hi. How can you drain rice with colander? This is not pasta. I've never seen anyone drain rice. If your rice too wet, you fucked up. Don't bring colander into your rice cooking. Hiya. Get a nice rice cooker. Don't mess with saucepan like this lady here. Don't mess with colander. All right, so what did I say? She added too much water to the rice. You don't need to add that much. If you do add that much, you have to drain it because otherwise it will overcook with that hot water if you just leave it there. But a trick if you want to dry the rice quickly is to get a sheet tray, spread it out onto the sheet tray, the rice, and allow the residual water to evaporate. And it will evaporate a little faster if you put it into the fridge because the fridge is a dry environment. If your rice too wet, you recook the rice. No way to save wet rice. Has quite a lot of starch in it, which will make what it. What the? What the hell? What the hell? Uncle Roger, so upset. I put my leg down from chair. Why are you running water through? Ra <laughs> you ruining the rice first. You use colander to dry the rice, and then you put water. Then why bother drying the rice? Who cook rice like this? How did this woman get on BBC food? They never asked Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger teach masterclass on making rice, but this woman calling the on the rice, then water through the rice. This is oh and oh. Uncle Roger sad now. So if you do happen to do what Hersha is doing by rinsing the rice, if you do that, you're going to drop the temperature. Um, you will wash off the excess starch if you didn't rinse it before. It is what it is. There is a way though to bring it back. What you can do, this is a trick if you do happen to be in this predicament, is to get a pot of boiling water on, put the kettle on, pour the boiling water over that rice. This will superheat the rice, will also evaporate the residual moisture faster because hot water evaporates a lot faster than room temp. Okay now, and then just add your garlic and mm. ginger. Garlic, ginger, okay. Another classic, minute. classic Asian mm. seasoning. Okay, this one, okay. And then you want to put all the other ingredients in. Rice. Oh, the mm. sad, gloopy rice that ran through colander. It's better if you add day-old rice or cold rice 
to this instead of using freshly made rice. It'll make a big difference. The egg, the spring onions, mm. and okay, peas. Okay. Mm. And this video on Karaja has nothing to say about uh, peas, does he? Mm, it's a very English ingredient, peas. Like I've said many a time, we add peas to just about everything. And fish and chips with mushy peas is a very common thing. And then you just want to stir it all together and cook it through mm. for about three to five minutes. This look okay, but look too healthy. Wear your MSG. You don't use MSG how to make good egg fried rice. This is just white people egg fried rice. MSG is the, the king of flavor. If you sad in life, use MSG. If you happy in life, use MSG. Put MSG in everything. It'll turn it better. You just get a baby, put MSG on baby. It'll be better baby, smarter. And that's done. Time to plate up. The colours are still oh, vibrant. No, oh no, no, no! You're using metal to scrape your saucepan higher. This is non-stick saucepan, cannot use metal. Higher, your, your parents never teach you. If I use metal on saucepan at home growing up, I will be this old. No more parents. Why are you often? I use metal on saucepan. Mom don't want me anymore. Very few things. Break Asian people hut. One is when your rice run out. Number two is when you scrape pan with metal spoon. First my wife leave me, now you scrape pan with metal. Hiya. Uncle Roger won a suicide. So delicious. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Why are you part of yourself? You <sighs> I have to admit, the final product doesn't look as bad as some of the other fried rice um, plates that we've seen. So well. Let me know your thoughts, guys. You messed up everything. You scrape saucepan with metal. You dry the rice and wet the rice and dry the rice with colander. You don't use MSG. <sighs> Why this woman proud of herself? Egg fried rice, Uncle Roger know how to make egg fried rice and Uncle Roger three year old. And this lady, I don't know, 34, making egg fried rice on induction hob. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> BBC good food, this is not good video. People use this video, make egg fried rice, and they think egg fried rice is disgusting. Not good for Chinese culture. BBC good food, next time you want to make egg fried rice video, ask Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger teach you proper technique, the Asian way. Follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram, it's my nephew Nigel. He set up Instagram for me, he managed my Instagram, but follow the Instagram. Bye bye. I have to admit guys that looking at the end product, it doesn't look as bad as some of the other fried rice dishes that we've actually reviewed. Obviously there are a few steps that she should have done a little better, like the rice and you know, a few other things. Um, um, the eggs are a little dry and everything else, but and she didn't use MSG or nothing like this, but overall, still, it's not that bad. And it's, I would say, a better, healthier version of what we reviewed last time, a little better. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you have any suggestions as well. And guys, if you did like the video, then don't forget to share, like, and subscribe as it helps my channel out greatly. If you are interested in another interesting video, then be sure to click here and hopefully I will see you guys again very soon. Until next time, take care.